Hi, I'm Alan Payton from Antioch, and I'm a frequent reader of Halfway to Concord. And uh, actually, uh, tonight was the first time I saw a candidate's forum uh, during this 10th Congressional District special election. And I watched both the Democrats and the Republicans uh, debate, discuss the issues. And I thought it was actually uh, pretty good. Uh, it seemed to be that most of the Democrats agreed on most of the issues. And uh, I, of course, I kind of like Adriel Hampton there being, kind of stands out a little bit different than the rest of the crowd. But I, I really do believe it's a two-man race, and that, uh, yeah, and it was obvious the experience of both the Garamendi and DeSonia showed through in their answers. Um, obviously, Woods is articulate and uh, impressive as a candidate. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, happens in that race. But uh, as far as the Republicans, the one that obviously is David Harmer versus Chris Bunch seem to be the ones who were mostly on the issues and were able to express themselves. Bunch is more succinct in his responses. Um, the one that actually was a surprise to me uh, because I hadn't really heard or much about him was Gary Clift, and I thought he did quite a good job tonight in his responses and dealing with the issues and uh, responding, them, responding to them succinctly, quickly as well. Um, it'll Do you think that there was more diversity on the Republican side than on the Democrat side? Uh, they didn't obviously, obviously ask the same exact questions as the Democrat uh, forum did. Um, but, uh, you know, there seemed to be a little more diversity, yes, between the candidates on the Republican side on the different issues than there were on the Democrat side. Uh, the, I think the key thing in the Republican side are the ones who actually could, you know, answer the questions, had an understanding of the issues and could address them succinctly. Um, and so I, I look forward to seeing some more. I will be attending more. Thank you.